We finally have a new trailer for Switch Sports. And honestly, there's only one thing I'm looking for, and that is the ability to bowl backwards, okay? If we can't do that, which apparently you couldn't in the playtest, you're not taking my money. I need to be able to bowl backwards. It's a part of my childhood I need to recreate. But let's take a look at the new trailer. This dropped yesterday on the main Nintendo channel, but only a few hours ago on the UK one. And for some reason, the UK one is longer. Now, I didn't get the chance to do the play test. Unfortunately, there was only a really small window in which you could do that. And I was unfortunately at university, which really sucks. But we don't really know all that much about the game if we're just basing it off the trailer we got in February. All we know is there's six sports. We've kind of seen a little bit about each of them. We just know we're getting some old sports. I know I remember seeing tennis there and we're getting some new ones. Like I remember they spent ages on the volleyball. All I know is that that trailer wasn't that long. So hopefully we'll get to see some more of the other sports and maybe the Mii Maker. Because I don't know about you, I haven't made a Mii since the Wii. So I hope there's ways to customize them. Nintendo Switch Sports. He's so British. First off, they've shown us the motion controls for most of the games now. The motion controls seem to be a good in-between of being accurate, but also not requiring you to like get up and jump around. You don't have to jump. Yes. For example, I live in a block of flats, so jumping is 100% something I cannot do here. So it looks as though none of these need that, which is really good. They kind of blasted through volleyball, which is fine. We saw more than enough volleyball for a lifetime. So I'm not too sad about that. I assume from the footage they've shown us that you physically move your character as well as doing motion controls, but I'm not too sure. The same for badminton. I love the way they move. It looks really accurate to how the actual sport is played. And I love the fact that you aim your shot with your motion controls by the look of it, which is really cool. And you can change up your shot style again. Pretty cool. Bowling was the one that everybody was interested in and still is. They didn't tell us if we could throw the ball backwards though, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm probably still going to buy this game. One thing that did look really cool was the challenges or the special lanes. They've brought them back. Honestly, that was such a fun thing about the Wii having all those challenges to do. So glad to see them back. And later on, they mentioned how you can do 16 person bowling online challenges. 16. I love it. I love it. That's going to be hectic. It's going to be great. The football, I am still very undecided about. It looks like Rocket League, but if people were running around. I know Rocket League is based on football, which has people running around. But this isn't football. This is Rocket League with humans instead of cars. The ball's giant. This is this is Rocket League with humans. I'm not going to complain. People love Rocket League. So they show us that you can do 4v4 and 1v1. And they do mention that in the future, so in the summer update, the hope is that you can play with the leg strap as well. And the shootout mode looks really fun. I think I'll play that way more than the 4v4 football, if I'm honest. Next we have... Oh no, how does he say it? Hold on. Chambra. Next, we have Chambra. This looks really fun. This is going to be the boxing of this game where you just frantically throw your arms around and hope that you win. It looks cool, though. It also looks like there's some skill involved. You know full well I'm just going to scream and throw my arms and hope for the best. Next up is everyone's favorite from the Wii, tennis. I will say the woman who is in the side showing you how to play tennis, when did you ever play the Wii and do a shot like this? Everyone knows it was... <laughs> Everyone knows. Or or when you got really skilled in the Wii, it was just... I'm trying to remember Wii Sports. I don't think there was any spin in Wii Sports. So it's very cool that the motion controls can be used to add spin. And that's going to be... That's going to spice it up. I needed it. As expected, you can play multiplayer locally and also online. So obviously you can play random matches, but this wasn't the part that was really interesting. The part that was really interesting to me is ranks. This is exactly what Wii Sports needed, a ranked mode. Can you imagine what the top end, you know I'm gonna be grinding this on stream to try and become top in something, okay? I need it. I need to say I'm like a sports elite person. Me, from the comfort of my own gaming chair, needs to be a sport eliting person in a game. So there's different leagues and every single league is separated by a rank. Wait, how many, how many ones are those? One, two. 12 sub levels within every league. And then the best part, the whole thing, you can design your own characters. This looks like me customization and then some. It is so much more detailed, so many more options. Love it. Love the way it looks so far. This is just an upgraded me. 
Although you can also pick your Miis. And the best part is you can unlock more customizations as you play the game, which is my favorite thing to unlock. And seeing all this has got me way more excited for the game. I was kind of hoping the bowling might have been more than 16 for the survival bowling, but it's fine. Maybe a future update can up that number. But hearing that there's going to be an online ranked system is very cool. That gives me so much more playability. Wii Sports, for the most part, used to be a game you played with friends or family. It wasn't the easiest game to play by yourself. So I'm very happy to see that they've kind of changed it around and made it a better game the single player as well as playing with other people and while six sports doesn't seem like a lot the sub modes within each sports is good and obviously the fact that you can not only play with a few people online but up to 16 of you for a games night is very cool i was dubious as to whether this game would be worth full price is this game full price this game isn't full price it's 10 quid less than full price okay that makes me feel even better about this yeah if i pre-order it i can get a water bottle dead thank you all for watching if you enjoy nintendo content please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel down below and as always we're going to be playing this and trying to get to a high rank at the end of april when the game comes out so follow me on twitch if you want to see me do this live i'm i'm gonna have to exercise ready for this aren't i